it's 7.29 now. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. So it's Lydia here. I started this 60 day plank challenge since the 1st of June and today is 28th of July. I think I didn't change much of my day to day life, but I really, really see the difference. Um, so this is my morning routine. I wake up, I will start preparing my breakfast and then I'll just go straight into the plank. That's the first thing I would do in the morning. I've tried to do it in the evening, but it's a little bit more difficult. I have a gamified way to do it, so I will take you to my morning routine. Let's go. At the first, at the very, very beginning, I can only do like three minutes. And then now I can do seven minutes. And the secret is you need to gamify it. I don't care my, whether my form is correct. I think the most important thing is you can do it. But ever since the 1st of June, I really have seen the change because at the beginning here, I have a lot of belly fat. I don't know, I think maybe it's because of bloating or things like that. I just, so I just don't feel as fit as before. Like I started this YouTube channel as someone who has transformed my life. I wanted to tell everyone how I can lose weight. And I keep telling this story again and again. I was like, oh, and then it's a pandemic. I, I cannot do videos in the gym and then I moved to the UK. And then life has just got too busy. And then I started doing all of those restaurant review videos, people who would love it. And now I start doing more about career, entrepreneur, and interviewing people. At the beginning, actually, this channel is for me to tell people how you can lose weight, how you can change from someone who's like super unfit back in 2018. And then I just become like very fit, not overnight, because nothing happens overnight. Which I've been living this digital nomad life. I'm just, I don't, I don't stay in one place for more than maybe like say two months. It's kind of difficult to keep the gym routine, and every time you have to like find a new place, and you need to get used to it. I keep traveling, and after I moved to London, after I keep working at those very intense schedule every day, and. Even I still go to the gym, it's just like very difficult to uh, keep track of the body fat here. And then I, I don't have my previous trainer in Hong Kong with me, so um, it's kind of hard to keep up of that intensity, which is why like at the beginning of this year, every year I would have that period of time, I was like looking at myself, I was like, why am I not as fit as before? Like, don't get me wrong. I'm, I'm really lucky. I think I'm still healthy and I'm still fit. I'm still I'm with my level of energy is never like never before. Because uh, after I go to the gym, after I start this YouTube channel, especially my energy level and the way that I can communicate with people is just so much better than than ever before. But and when I look back to my photos in 20. Uh, 2019, 2020, I will see all my like ab lines and then all of these <laughs> um, muscles very lean and then I look at myself and so I really want to get back there. On 1st of June this year, and uh, I decided I'm going to do a 60 day plank challenge. I've been doing these kind of 60 day challenge for a long time now. I, the first one is last year I did a 60 day challenge and I started my podcast. It's called Biceps Climate Tech. Now I'm doing season two, um, launching season three very soon. The second one is 60 day writing challenge. I started 1000 words at the beginning of this year. That's a little bit difficult to keep track on. Eventually I have, I think, 65,000 ish words there uh, for a little bit more than two months. I like take maybe three months. And then the plank challenge is my third 60 day challenge this year. I think I will keep going, but this is just a video that how have my, especially this part of the muscle the have changed. Disclaimer is recently I started to cook at home more and came back to London. I started going to the gym. I started going to the boot camps, but I don't think that actually changed that much of my day to day because when I was in Lisbon, the food there is actually, it's all home cooked. It's all, all like healthy and fresh. I don't think that changed much and my diet didn't change much either. So I'm just like, maybe this is the magic of the plank. And today I'm going to take you through the routine. How can you do it? If you want to try to do it, leave a comment down below and do it together with me today. I have the secret of how to make it fun because it's so difficult to do a plank, right? Because at the beginning I can only do three minutes. And now yesterday my record is seven minutes and 32 seconds. I wasn't chasing the perfect form. I just wanted to do it like the first thing of the day. And then every day I would just go up, I would, I would take a photo of myself. Like, this is how I look like. This um, 
on the front and then next to it and this on the left and on the right and then I'll come back to the room to my room and reset this reset this like this usually in my morning I'll start listening to some podcasts but for this plant challenge I will start Duolingo because <laughs> that actually is something that you can do it's a game and also it takes I at the beginning I can only do three minutes so now I can do seven minutes it took to exercise and then on the first thing in the morning I just do everything I think back to some of the productivity guru on this morning as I saw it also from my other friend who's a part-time youtuber he's like we are all both reading Ali's book I think he has a trick there like are you having fun doing it and this is the way of me having fun doing it and actually looking forward to it every morning think yeah let's let's do this do this plank today Today. This is zero now. Um, oh, here start. <laughs> and this is usually just how I do it. Then don't blame me if it's not a perfect form. But I think you can if you can start somewhere it's better than you do nothing. And then I will just do all my Duolingo stuff. It's actually good because today is Sunday. Yeah. I will need to do my French lesson on Sunday in just like an hour. I think it's usually easier if the exercise only requires you to speak because if I need to like press on something then it's more difficult for the plank but it also go, makes the time to go a little bit faster for example after I did this one exercise it's 3 minutes I'll just do another one today it's also easier for the story type of exorcist. Who knows what you think about me? And I know I shouldn't care. I really tried my best, but I can make you happy. If it took far, I can't stop trying to you. live you. I don't know why you couldn't put this out because you know I tried the best I could. Tournée à droite, 
Topic that you have in the channel, I can always make that happen for you. And 
Stay healthy.